Good morning, Grandmama. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And today we're going to be making some pepper steak with uh, onions. And uh, so this is just a shoulder steak that we bought. Uh, they're real thin. And I just use my kitchen shears. And I cut them in strips. Now this has, the shoulder steak has these little you can see that white running through it and right here that's gristle so i'm going to cut that out but i just cut them in strips like this you can cut them in bite-sized pieces or you can cut them in strips whichever one now the, the scissors st work real, real well scissors work really well and i'm just going to cut them in uh, little strips like this after i cut them in the long strips then i cut them again and make them kind of like bite-sized pieces and i'll put this over here so you can see what i'm doing and uh so now the gristle is running and i try to cut it where the gristle is running through it because i do not want that gristle in uh and roxy gets that of course so uh and in this i'm going to season it with some worcestershire sauce and some salt and pepper and some garlic okay i'm just cutting this in little strips like that now when i get to this piece that's got the, the gristle in it i'll take my kitchen shears and i'll go right down that side of that gristle like that and it leaves a little bit of meat on it but and Roxy gets that, and Roxy I do not. That. Yeah, Roxy loves that. I do not want that gristle because it's it's you can't chew it. So unless you got really good teeth, Roy does, but I don't. So okay, now and I cut most of my fat off. <sighs> hey Gage. Hey beautiful. <laughs> And so uh, in this, I'm going to, I'm going to marinate this for like an hour before I cook it. So uh, I'm going to put uh, Worcestershire sauce in it. And this is, I'm going to do about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And I wasn't going to use soy sauce, but I am. I'm going to use like a tablespoon of soy sauce because we really like soy sauce. Okay. That was two tablespoons of Worcestershire, one tablespoon of soy. And I'm going to do about uh, one teaspoon, maybe. I'll see when I, when I get this open. Of garlic, roasted garlic powder. Yeah, one teaspoon is going to be enough. So, uh-oh. That's one teaspoon of garlic. Now, my salt and pepper, probably a half a teaspoon of pepper. And because of my soy and my Worcestershire, I'm only going to put like half a teaspoon of salt because they have salt in them and you don't want it to get too salty. Now, I don't know how my hands are clean. So, y'all know I cook with my hands. Your hands are your best tools in the kitchen. So, all right. <clears throat> now, I don't know how... Uh, tender this is so this is <coughs> this is a meat tenderizer but it has no msg in it so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this to make sure that it's it's tender because this is shoulder steak and shoulder steak can be tough sometimes so i'm just sprinkling a little bit of the uh the meat tenderizer on it not much just a little bit and then i'm going to stir it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and I'm going to let it sit for about an hour. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we're going to do our pepper steak. And you'll see in a little bit. All right. All right. Uh, I've got some of my peppers cut here and I'm just going to cut them in strips. And today I'm using orange and uh, yellow. Y'all know you can use green if you like green peppers. But I've told y'all before, I'm not fond of the green peppers. So I always buy the sweet peppers. So I just cut them in strips like this. Did you save my seeds? 
I did. They're over okay, there. Okay, good. They're over there. You can plant gone. these out of these uh, peppers, and they just come right up. Roy's gone. He wanted me to save the seeds, so I got them in a little bowl over there. We did some last year for red pep, the red ones, and oh, they made the best peppers. So uh, I'm just cutting these in strips like this. And if it's a really big pepper, I would cut this. I'm just going to show you. I would cut this in half and then cut it in strips. Okay, and I've got Vidalia onions here that I'm going to cut up. This one's a little long, so I'm going to cut it in half. All right. Now, I just took my Vidalia onions. These go together like this. This, is, uh, this one is really big here, so I think I'll use it first. And I cut it in half, and now I'm just going to take it and cut it crossways like this. Crossways the uh, onion. And when I separate it, I'll take this out because it's the, it's the end of the, the root. So what I'll do is just separate them like this. And then you got little halves. And that's how I'm going to uh, stir fry those. And I sometimes I do it in with my peppers. I've got my, my uh, pans on heating back here. But today, I'm going to do these separate in another pan than I do my, uh, my pepper steak. And we'll just put it over them. So, because when you cook them in the same pan, they yes they get those juices in it but it turns them a darker color and if i like mine to be really pretty so i'm just gonna cook it in a separate pan today all right i'm gonna put my onions and my peppers in the same bowl like this that's a lot of onion i may not use all that onion so i'll just leave this right here on the pad that's part of the root too so I'll cut that one again because it's kind of big. All right. Honey, if you'll come over here. My pan is getting hot, and I'm going to put some olive oil in my pan. Let me turn my light on. Just I am dropping things today. That's crazy. Okay. My uh, steak that I have has been marinating for about an hour now. And I told y'all I was going to put it in the refrigerator, but I did not because I took this out of the freezer this morning and it was still a little icy when I was uh, cutting it up. So I left it out so it would uh, warm up a little bit, kind of get room temperature. So, Gage, let Roxy in. All right. Now I'm just going to put my steak. I want it real hot. That's pretty hot. That's how you want it. Because it's not going to take long to cook this steak. Because it's thin and it's in such... Uh, I'm going to turn it on up to like high. Alright, now this pan is, uh, is getting hot. I'm going to do my peppers and onions in this one. And that's just a little olive oil. Did you say something, baby? Oh, no, I'm not going to touch the pan. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my peppers and onions in this one. And I'm going to stir fry them because it'll take them about the same amount of time to cook as it does my steak. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of these onions in there. Okay, because I want about the same amount of onion as I have pepper. And I'm going to salt this just a little bit to bring out some of that, uh, some of the liquid and some of the juice in the peppers and onions. Okay, I'm going to turn this on up to high. Because that's a lot of meat in this pan, and I want it to cook quickly. 
Okay, and I'm using my same same utensil. This is called a spoonula, or that's what they called it 10 years ago when I bought it. I've had this 10 years, I know, because you can see it's turned dark on the edge. But that's what I use in my uh, my nonstick skillets. I always use this one. I love it. Okay. Now you can hear probably hear this. This is what you want. You want it to cook real, real fast like this. And it's not going to take long. You can do this in a wok. If you want to, it's really going to take the peppers and onions longer than it does the steak. And I have made some quinoa. Roy and I and Gage. Gage loves quinoa. So we're going to have that. And we're having steamed cabbage. Oh, my. Doesn't that look good? Cabbage, Roy cabbage. Went to the garden this morning and got one. Love me some cabbage. So that's what we're having. Pepper steak with onions, steamed cabbage, and uh, quinoa. And I'm going to make some lacy cornbread again. I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner on back here. And in this, while my peppers and onions and steaks cooking, in this pan, in this bowl, I've got one cup of plain flour I mean, plain cornmeal, and y'all saw me do this the other day, and I've got a cup of water and one teaspoon of salt. So that's three-fourths cups of water that I put in there, and that may be all it takes today. Okay, y'all have seen me do this a couple of times recently, so all right. You just stir it up good. That's one cup of plain cornmeal, no leveling agent, no nothing. Uh, and I'm going to put a little bit more because y'all know the consistency that it should be. You got some that's not stirred in on your side. Okay. There you go. All right. That's what having a good cameraman is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what she does when I'm not in the kitchen. I don't know how she gets by. Okay, that's the. I'm gonna that's put, it. Oh no, nope, that was. I'm. The, I put the whole cup of water. Mm -hmm. So that's one cup of plain cornmeal with no no leveling agent. One teaspoon of salt and one cup of water. And it looks a little thin to me. No, nope, you, you wait. <laughs> you wait till I start cooking. I got my lard on back here. My my opinions don't always get a lot of weight when she's cooking. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Wow. You're going to, and you want this juice in here. You better believe it. That's the gravy that's going to that go over It goes over the quinoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not going to cook this so it's real soft because we want it left a little bit crunchy. Because if you cook peppers and onions too much, they're going to be real mushy. And we don't want that. But I tell you what I'm going to do. For this, I'm going to put a lid over it to soften them just a little bit. Okay, baby, leave the camera there. I'm going to wash this bowl. Okay. Boy, this that, looks good, Grandma. Because that steak is ready. You really know how to get the hunger out of me. I know. Yep, the hunger's coming to the top right now. Okay. I washed my bowl. Now this steak is done. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to pour it in my bowl. Now if you don't want all that juice, you start it out. You cook you can cook it in a cook it in a wok. If you don't want all this juice and gravy, but this is what's going over the, the quinoa or rice. If you want to uh, to make rice to go with yours, and that's what most people would probably use. 
than uh than just make rice oh my look at this definitely put a lid on it because that lid it's it's all medium high but that lid will kind of bring out and the salt i put on it will kind of bring out those juices that'd be so good okay Woo! my lard is popping back here all right, you see that, baby? It thickened up a little bit. When all right, it sits, all right. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll wait and judge the cornbread. If it's lacy and pretty, I'll give you an A. I know what I'm doing. I've sure done it enough. It's lacing up. Yep. Okay. I want to show y'all something. The other, the other day, Y'all, I told y'all I wanted a potato masher, one of the old-fashioned kind. If you saw my video, it's when I was mashing mashed potatoes, and my sweet daughter brought me this yesterday. And nice? I've never had one like this. Mm -hmm. And my mama, this is what we used the whole time I was growing up. It's what she always had, but I had never had one. So she bought me one and brought it to me, so... Or she sent it by Philip, her husband. But same thing. Okay. You know, when, when people give you things that you use and really like, every now and then, just get on your text and say, I used your potato masher yep. or I yep. used the wrench you gave me for Christmas. You know, and you do that through the years. And it really makes people feel good when they hear a text or see a text from you. Uh, talking about something they gave you and you're still enjoying it. All right, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move my bread to my front eye because it's still on. And I'm going to put this one on low. Oh, it's why is it popping so? Okay. Well, because it's just large. Well, I could say it was too much water. No. <laughs> All right. I don't think that would please Gage, her. Gage, will you look over there, baby, and get me uh, two paper towels? Okay. It is a pop. It was popping. I know. It's it? crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just stay out of the way when it starts popping like that and wipe your grease off your stove. All right. Thanks, baby. Okay. Look at that lace. All right. Mm. I think our onions and peppers are done. Ah, they've just wilted slightly. That's yep. I think that's ready. Gage, you like yours like this? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. He mostly likes it in a plate with a fork. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get grease on me, y'all. I don't know what why that's doing that. Mm. Maybe it'll calm down in a minute. If lacy cornbread isn't in your food culture, I'm sorry, but we just love it. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to pour my peppers and onions over my steak. And now I'm going to stir it up together. I'll bring it over here, baby. Okay. Wow. Okay. Look what a beautiful. I call this steak hallelujah with the gravy and the onions and all of that. Mm. I wish I had red because I really love red in it. But look at that yellow and orange. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that, that'd be ready, Rose. I know. And those peppers and onions are perfect. Okay. All right. Oh, that looks so good. That is ready. I know. Ready to eat. Okay. I'm going to keep cooking my cornbread. I'm going to make us a plate. And I'm going to show y'all what uh, what our plate's going to look like. So, And then we're going to do some taste testing. So be back in just a second. All right. We have a taster. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is Gage, our number four grandson. So... He is going to taste of our pepper steak and pepper steak, 
quinoa and I put some of the juice over the quinoa, steamed mm. cabbage, and lacy cornbread. This is Gage's plate for lunch right here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this one's yours. Well, that's a little large for him, Grandma. I'm going to cut back on his. Whoa. How, how is it, Gage? It's perfect. It's perfect. Y'all heard that. I got to turn my cornbread back here. What you put on this? Because I'm still cooking cornbread. It's some of this juice off the pepper steak. And the quinoa, mm -hmm. it's twice as much water as quinoa. So this was two cups of water, one cup of quinoa, one teaspoon of salt, and about probably two teaspoons of butter I put in there. So now he's really digging in. Mm -hmm. He's getting some of all of it. <laughs> okay. And he loves food, so he says it's perfect. All right. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from. I got to turn my cornbread. I'll see y'all. Remember, food feeds the family. Family feeds mm -hmm. the heart like grandsons. Mm -hmm. God feeds the soul. We love y'all. We'll mm -hmm. see you next time.